Hi and welcome to The Wrap, a quick look at the week that was. I'm Diana Dorohy. Well, it was another busy week this week at Next Chapter Raise. We had a double bill from entrepreneur extraordinaire, Joanna Hotung. She was guest star on the podcast this week and she had tip after tip for growing your business and working with investors. There was so much advice. This was really an episode where you needed to take notes. Here are a couple of gems. First up, if you can be first to market, fantastic. And if you can quickly expand those products or services, even better, just like she did. But to be really successful, you have to stay on point and stick to your original philosophies and values. That has to drive your brand and your business. When she was looking to scale, she was actually very picky as you should be and she waited five years to find a partner who was dollar and value aligned and you, you can't underestimate the importance of that. She also says that after getting investor funding, like one of the big concerns was how am I performing for my shareholders versus how is my company performing? And she says, but with the right investor, it becomes more of a partnership and, and not just a reporting line. Some great advice there. Now, if you want some more funding ins insights from Joanna, of course, go and have a listen to the podcast. And as I said, bring a piece of paper and a pen. As our entrepreneur in residence this month, Joanna also uh, had a lively discussion, a live Q&A call on our forum this week, again, giving members the opportunity to really break down their, their concerns and, and their questions. What else this week? Well, the Cardia Women's Initiative announced its 2020 laureates. I tell you what, if you want some inspiration, check out this list of impact entrepreneurs. The future is certainly bright. Speaking of bright, Asia Biz Today did a wonderful profile piece on our trailblazing founder, Nicole Denholder. She talks all about her business journey and how Next Chapter Raise was born. Have a read of that. My number one news story from around this week, from around the world this week, comes from a piece in The Standard about how women can level the playing field. First up, Network with other women. They cited a 2019 joint study by the University of Notre Dame and Northwestern, and it found that 75% of women in high ranking or high profile positions have a female dominated inner circle and or strong ties with women in their network. The message is clear, lean in ladies. They also talk about finding a female mentor who can help you with specific challenges in the workplace, such as uh, sexism, juggling career with childcare and dealing with imposter syndrome. I don't know what you're talking about. Finally, they encourage you to own your accomplishments. You know, women tend to downplay their contributions and accomplishments. See if uh, any of this rings true. You struggle to take charge. You charge less for your expertise and you give away too much without a financial commitment from a potential client. Remember, you've earned your position, so don't be afraid to assert your authority. My tip of the week this week, sounds like I already gave it, but wait, there's more. Uh, it goes to a piece in CEO World Magazine and it was entitled Tips for Aspiring Entrepreneurs. Here are some of them. Work in a variety of fields and learn how every facet of the business operates. Take every chance to excel. Fail forward, love this. Each time we make a mistake, we learn and grow. And think. In fact, I think we need to call it something else instead of fail. Always aim to do better and be the best version of yourself, not someone else. And value your voice, speak up. That's how barriers come down. Coming up next week on Next Chapter Raise, our first member chat on the podcast. Hear from one of Asia's upcoming entrepreneurs about how they're growing their business. Have a great weekend and catch you next time on The Wrap.